Hey there, boys and girls. It is Wednesday, July 29th, and we are going to do some creative writing. All right, uh, I'm going to be on page E18, and it just poses you a couple of questions, and you can write whatever you want. Here is our question. It says, if you could visit any country in the world, where would you go? What would you do there? All right, so this world is filled with many, many different places that you can go to. Um, let's pick a place. I think I have a place in mind. So make sure when you're writing, uh, you want to start your paragraph off. I want to make sure we are all writing in paragraph form at this point, okay? so. Make a little indent, give yourself a couple of spaces. That's what we do when we start paragraphs. And then uh, you can start your paragraph off just like this. If I um, could go to any country in the world, comma, I would go to all right and then you know choose your country where do you want to go your teacher is going to pick japan all right and then i'm going to tell you all about japan and why i want to go there so um i have never been to japan also Japan and all the other country names, those are the names of places. So you have to put a capital J, all right, or a capital first letter, whatever that is, okay? All right, I have never been to Japan, comma, but I have always wanted to go. Um, I think Japan, capital J, has actually nah, let's rephrase that um japan has a long and rich cultural history um and i also really like their Food, yes, food is important, all right? If I was in Japan, I would visit, oh, I would eat, I would eat at some of the best sushi restaurants in the world. Yum. All right. Um, actually, I'm going to rephrase that again. If I was in Japan, I would go to Tokyo, also a name, so capital T, and eat at some of the best sushi restaurants, whoops, forgot my S, in the world. All right. So, um, I would also visit Osaka and um, Kyoto because they have a lot of great tourist attractions. A tourist attraction is uh, things like uh, art galleries and museums, and it could be many things, festivals, something like that, places where tourists want to go and spend their money, foreigners, okay? People that want to come visit your country and see how wonderful it is. Like Angkor Wat is your country, is Cambodia's most famous tourist attraction by far. Uh, it's huge, everybody wants to go there. All right, um, let me continue here. Kyoto, because they have a lot of great tourist attractions, uh, like 
museums. All right. And I think that's about it. Um, oh, you know what? One more. I would actually I'm going to use the word additionally. It makes my sentences flow better. Additionally, I would love to stop by, I will say, check out, want to check something out. I would love to check out the Himeji Castle. And that is a name uh, because I really like the architecture. All right. So yeah, additionally, I would love to check out the Himeji Castle. I've capitalized both of those because it is the name of a place because I really like the architecture. All right. Now, if you don't know what this building is, um, I'm actually going to show you. Uh, let's stop share and I'm going to look it up because I think this building is super cool. It looks like it is straight out of an anime movie or something. Uh, let's go to Google search and let's look up Himeji Castle. I think it'd be a great destination. Look at that building. It is so beautiful. Yeah. Great place to go. Look at that. Great photo opportunities. I would love to go hang out there. Yeah. All right. So that would be your teacher's Japan trip. I think it'd be great. Uh, where do you want to go? Let me know and then send me a photo of your work, please. That's it for today, kids. Bye bye.